Hello, and welcome to another ARM Software Developer Breakdown. My name is Robert Wolf, and in this video, we'll be meeting with Paul Howard, Principal System Solution Architect from ARM, who will be running through a demo series with us on Parsec, otherwise known as the Platform Abstraction for Security. The Parsec demo will be broken into multiple parts, and the entire series will be brought to you through the ARM Software Developer YouTube channel. If you like this video, please smash that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. So let's meet our guest. All right, Paul, welcome to the ARM Software Developer Breakdown. Glad you could be here with us. Uh, but before we dive into your demo, could you please tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, hi, uh, Robert. Thank you. So my name is Paul Howard. Um, I'm a solutions architect with ARM. I've been with ARM now for a little over two years. Uh, I've been with the Parsec project from the very beginning. Um, and I'm really lucky now that I get to work with a great team and, and a great community uh, of engineers that have seeded the Parsec project. Um, that's now actively growing it and doing amazing things with it. Um, so it's great to be here. Yeah. Now, I know you have a demo prepared for us, but before we go into the series, diving deep into your demo, could you please kind of tell us a little bit about what you're going to be showing us? Okay, so it's a packed session uh, across this short series of videos. We're going to be standing up Raspberry Pi, learning how it works, and the different ways we can interact with it. Uh, with different kinds of routes of trust uh, and secure backend. So here's what we're going to cover through the whole series. A quick moment learning quickly about what Parsec is, uh, what problem is it solving for us. We'll then go into a full build, uh, a setup of Parsec on the Raspberry Pi. Once it's all set up, uh, we're going to see Parsec in action. Uh, in this tutorial, we'll be using it to do some key management uh, and some encryption. And then we'll go and see what those use cases look like when we do the same thing with some hardware security added to the system as well. So I'm going to show you how to configure Parsec and use it with an HSM. And then once we've done all of that, uh, we're going to look at the options that you have as a developer for consuming Parsec into your own code and starting to make use of the functionality that it provides. So that's what's going to be ahead for us um, over the whole series. But what I want to do first is really just start by giving you a flavor of what Parsec is. What problem is it solving? Why do we want to learn about it? So Parsec short for the Platform Abstraction for Security. Uh, so what does that mean? Why do we need it? Well, we're used to running applications in the cloud, and the tools of techniques that we use for doing that are well understood. But there are some very good reasons for bringing some of those workloads out of the cloud and running them at the edge where they can be closer to the endpoint devices that are generating the data that our applications are processing. We want to get those applications as close to the source of the data as we can. It's just efficient to do that. So if we want to migrate an application from the cloud to the edge, we immediately encounter two problems. The first is that we're now in a very different threat environment. Uh, edge devices are more exposed. They are exposed to threats that don't exist uh, in a managed cloud. But we do want the best possible protection for secure assets such as keys. And that's almost certainly going to need some hardware protection uh, for those assets. Now, the second problem is that we have a diversity of hardware platforms to consider, not just operating systems and CPU architectures, but also different kinds of routes of trust and facilities for secure storage. We might have access to trusted platform modules, hardware security modules, other kinds of secure element, um, or we could have something firmware-based, uh, such as a secure key storage um, or a cryptographic service running in a trusted execution environment using technologies like uh, Intel SGX or ARM Trust Zone. Now, when our applications run at the edge, they're going to want to consume these features, but we don't want our code to be tightly coupled to these systems. It's, it's hard to learn how to use them, and it's just not portable to do that either. So what we want is a portable and cloud-native solution for our applications. And this is where Parsec comes in. So Parsec's a software service, bundles with it all of that specialized knowledge that's needed uh, to go and interact with those different security facilities that we find in ecosystem. And Parsec is going to take care of the complexity of consuming all of that for us. And Parsec then exposes all of that via a flexible API contract that we can adapt into any programming language that we want to use giving us APIs that are portable, convenient, multi-tenant, and therefore able to give us cloud-native experience for application programming and deployment at the edge using the best available hardware security. That's what Parsec is going to do for us. And through this series, we're going to build the Parsec service. We're going to set it up and start the process of getting familiar with it. All right, this is awesome. I'm excited and I say we dive in. For anyone watching at home in the next part of this series, Paul will begin preparing his developer work environment for Parsec. So Paul, are you ready? Yeah, I'm absolutely ready. Let's go do this. Excellent, we'll see you in the next video.